Marasov used her brother Aldrin to achieve many things, and even after his death that would remain the same, until he learned about this puppet master and would engage in those new beliefs, help the city, its people, and possibly become one of its leaders. Some new info in-game reveals the current whereabouts of Marasov and how she wants to connect with her brother Crow after all of this has went down, and that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Marasov has had this plan all along. She always forms plans and most of the time they're for her own benefit. Take a look back at the Taken King for example, sacrificing herself to survive in her throne world while most of her fleet was decimated, even Aldrin had no idea where she was. But as Mara would learn of her brother's resurrection as a guardian, she was upset that he had died, but she also saw this as an opportunity. My brother was strong, clever, devoted, but suggestible. I knew my plans put him at risk. I was not surprised to feel him die. Aldrin saw was devoted to her, and so could the Crow, but this time she could wield his guardian powers and control him. In Season of the Lost, she said this. When I first saw Crow, I looked into his mind. I did not see my brother's memories. Sabathun dredged them from a place beyond my grasp when she revealed his past life to him. When your crow first stood in my halls, I saw an ember of my Aldrin burning in his breast. Curiosity and a sibling fondness told me I could stoke that ember. I hope it is not a lie. I hope he is more than the last ebb of hot ash from a long dead flame. Many of his faults were not of his own making. Aldrin's decisions were his, of course, but driven by whips in the hands of others. Myself included. I will have to offer him more than an old story of an empty promise if I wish to see that ember burn again. This is the path I led Aldrin down. If certain actors had kept to their roles, I would have wielded Aldrin Sov, light bearer. But even Mara Sov cannot control everyone. I celebrate his resurrection in the light. But I detest seeing my brother rewritten, his greater self sloughed away and swept into the cellar. There is still good to draw from who he was. Don't squander it. He needs a star to guide him. Aldrin or Crow, they are the same in that regard. In that very season though, Crow would learn his memories from Savathun, and this would change everything. He says, everything I did is for myself, not for anyone else. He now wants to help humanity, he's their scout, and describes that he is a new guardian. This is what the Traveler chose me for. I was reforged in the light for a purpose, to remake something dead and gone into something beautiful. Throughout that season, Marasov was also angry at the Vanguard for not guiding Crow home to the reef when he was revived. Instead, he was brought here to the city, and the queen would hold this fire deep in her heart. Petra has paid her dues. The Vanguard murdered him and has yet to pay theirs. We both lost family. I'm sorry for my part in yours, but Crow has been treated. My brother is dead. He was exhumed, his body twisted into caricature. You had your vengeance. In Witch Queen, Mara would emerge a little bit to help us in that parasite quest, wielding Savathun's worm as a weapon and learning about her current troubles, that the witness had contacted her and was trying to sway her to its side, to make Mara Sav a disciple. As Witch Queen and Season of the Risen went on, there wasn't much on the connection between these two. Crow returned, but messed up with killing Keitel's Scion, and had some emotional issues. Now though, in Season of the Haunted being cleansed from the nightmare of Aldrin Sov, he's ready to fill in for Cade, to lead and start his true journey as the Crow, a new beginning. 
As for Mara though, we also have a lore card that mentions the Queen and how she wants to connect with Crow again. From the Tears of Contrition card, we hear this. Marasov can feel her twin's heartbeat in the chest of a man now known as Crow. She dreams, sometimes, of gathering him in an embrace like she did when they were children, of one ear pressed to his sternum, listening. I'm sorry, she imagined she would say. For everything, I was wrong. But Mara has been afforded no such opportunity, and on nights like tonight, when she stares across the infinite void of space alone, she reminds herself that her brother's absence is what he desires. It's also what she deserves. My queen, a familiar voice murmurs from behind her. Mara turns to find Petra's figure cutting a harsh silhouette in her doorway. Where is he? Mara asks. The Leviathan. Shadows obscure Petra's face, making it impossible to read. And for a moment, Mara understands how others must often feel in her own presence. Eris tells me he sees himself there. He sees Aldrin. I know, says Mara. Because, of course she knows. She feels Crow's suffering as intensely as she feels the beating of his heart. You want to go to him, Petra states plainly. You shouldn't. Something steely has entered her voice. Mara recognizes it as a warning. I know that too. Mara turns back to the twinkling ocean of stars, but focuses on the vast nothingness beyond it. Good night, Petra. Good night, my queen. Petra's retreating footsteps fade away, and Mara is alone again. No, she thinks. Not alone. She and her brother are together, even when they are apart. And that is enough. It must be. It's really great to get an update on what's going on with Mara Sov, even though she's not in the focus of this season's plot. Mara, the one who's always right, who always has these plans and wants things to go her way, is admitting that she was wrong, and she wants to connect and show that to her brother, the Crow. At the top of this card in the description, it says, Message transmission successful. Message deleted without opening. Resend. So to me, it looks like maybe Mara did send a message, but... Crow either deleted it without opening it, or she tried to erase the message when she sent it. This has been a roller coaster of a journey and emotions ever since the Crow got revived. First, everyone hated him because the obvious reasons, you know, the whole Barons thing and killing Cade, but he had no idea why, he couldn't remember that past. Fast forward, Savathun shows him those memories and he wants to change, he realizes that his sister messed up, and now she realizes that too. But Crow is in a new adventure, a new person, trying to become a leader here in our city. Anyway, Guardians, hope you enjoyed this little video. If you have any cool lore ideas you'd like to see made into a video, be sure to leave that in the comments below. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you, Guardians, in the next one.